Hi everybody, I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV. We're a dealership here in Round Rock, Texas. And today I'm gonna show you around the A-Liner Great Escape ST. This trailer is 14 feet long, 78 inches wide. It has a toilet and shower in it, 220 pound tongue weight. It's just a great towing little trailer. So before we get started, let me remind you, subscribe to our channel and hit that little bell if you would like to be reminded every time we do a new walkthrough. Now, let's get started. Okay, stepping into this trailer, you get the kitchen on the left, the toilet and shower on the right, and a nice open feel. On the left, the microwave is up top. On the vent fan, you've got a light and a fan. The glass top stove and the glass top sink make this entire space countertop when you're working. And then, of course, you can clear off whatever edge you need. Two burner stove. And next to that, this nice deep sink with fold up faucet and a single handle. It's very efficient and makes great use of this space for a kitchen. The refrigerator is a three way. It's got plenty of space in it. It does have a pull down freezer. All the controls are right on top. Okay, so to the right of the refrigerator, is the outside light right here and the water pump. Right next to that, you have two switches and one of them is a foot light underneath this cabinet. Great for a night light. The next light is actually the puck lighting that's underneath your shelving. There's three on this side, two on this side, underneath the shelves. You know, I think this is important because it just makes it so nice when you're actually camping. You don't need overhead light or you don't need glare. It just gives you a nice way to light up your trailer in such a soft way. All right, a 110 plug to the right of that, always useful, very accessible from seating or to be used in the kitchen. Under that, there's a small drawer here. It's actually pretty deep. It goes about probably six inches deep. And when you close the drawer, you have a latch so that it can't open when you're traveling. Another little cubby under here for storage. Now this is the ducting for the furnace. There's one here and one actually further up in the seating area. There is a 16,000 BTU furnace in this unit. The converter, which converts the 110 coming in to 12 volt, has the breakers and fuses in the front. Easy access. LP carbon monoxide right next to that. That is your detector to keep you safe. And an intake here for the furnace. Now I think we've seen almost everything here. We've got another storage cabinet up here. Now we've got a king jack control right inside that cabinet on the ceiling. This has a digital antenna that picks up the local signals really well. All you have to do is turn this uh, dial at the top and that's going to um, get you the very best possible digital signal. No cranking up and down anymore. Lots of storage up here in the front above the seating. We have that on both sides. So it's just a, a nice little versatile trailer. I love the wood finish on all of this. It has a very nice solid feel on the inside. 9200 BTU air conditioner on the top. Six foot four height as you walk in the door. So as you walk in the door on the right is the toilet shower combination. The light right here is gonna be for inside the bathroom. And I, it has a lock right here to hold the door closed when you're traveling. Otherwise, it just pops open. It's got a magnetic catch. And when you step inside, you'll notice vinyl walls, the hanging nozzle for the handheld, and the shower knobs are right down on the right. Now this is a cassette toilet. We'll show you outside how that works. 
It is very simple to use and it provides all the conveniences that you need when you want to go camping and have your own private bathroom. Stepping back up here, of course, you've got a little bit of a step up into the dinette area. Another shelf above this window. The same three uh, puck lights under here that there was on the other side. Remember, they're controlled by the switch that's in front of the kitchen. Now let's talk about these windows. These are the dual pane thermal windows and you can disconnect them here, unlatch them on all three sides, and then this window opens up and it can go at whatever level you would like for it to go and then you just tighten down on the right and you've got another one over here and it stays wherever it is that you put it. I love the fact that you can open it really wide or you can just open it a small amount if it's raining or misting or you just want a little bit of air. The shade pulls down from the top. The privacy curtain pulls up from the bottom. And of course, you know, if you want privacy but a little bit of air, that's always a possibility because you can set this anywhere you want in the middle. Unlatch it. Everything gets put away. And just loosen up these bars and there is actually a slot here on these windows where you can latch the window into place but there still is a gap there so if you wanted to have a little bit of air circulation uh, a little venting you can still do that and actually latch the window closed i think that's such a great feature now let's go around to the back and take a look now when you're dealing with small spaces there's always the question of dining table or a bed or just open seating. And so they've got all of those things so readily available in this design. The table is actually hidden underneath the front cushion. So to get the table out to create a dining area, all you do is lift up the front cushion, grab the tabletop, and it swivels out in front of you. Now you unpin it from the dining area front and swivel the table out, put that pin back in, and the table actually sets down in front of you. If you'd like to raise it, you can actually pull the table out and it latches into place. Then the tabletop can swivel in any direction that you want and it can twist to be at any place that you want. So it's very versatile in not only using the table or not using it, but how the table actually sets up and works for you. You can create any dining or workspace that you need. When you're ready to put it away, unpin it, swivel it right back under the seat, put that pin back in to hold it in place, and put the seat down. So simple. So to turn this into a sleeping area, it's very simple. Now a standard queen bed is 60 inches by 80 inches. This is actually 64 inches wide and three inches shorter than a standard queen bed. So this is 77 inches instead of 80. Still very ample sleeping space and very easy to set up. So again, just like you were setting up the table, you lift up this front uh, bench and unpin the table right in front Swivel the table out, and instead of pinning it back into a table position, you leave that pin out completely, and the table drops down and sits on these bumpers right in front of the benches. That supports these rear cushions that then lay on top to complete the bed area. Now you might have noticed when we were pulling the table out from underneath this seating, there is some storage on both sides. Quite a bit of space in there that you can use very accessible when you simply lift up this front seating and it does have gas props on it so it's not heavy not difficult to lift up and access anything you need there isn't any storage underneath this seat and the one directly across that is where all of your uh, electronics are housed you will notice however if you go further down this is the woven flooring that's become very popular now in a lot of the marine products it's just impervious to water and dirt. It is such a great product and gives it a very high-end look. 
So on the front of this trailer, the first thing you'll notice, of course, is the 23-inch flat screen. It has a sound bar above it, so you get beautiful TV viewing, great sound, everything you're looking for for that experience when you go out camping. You have uh, cabinets on both sides. I love the light ply and the light finish on this wood. It's very solid, looks very modern, very clean. Now in this side, it's more than just a cabinet. It has a 110 plug right on the front. Now right now, the sound bar and the television are plugged in, but if you're not using those and you need that plug for something else, you can always unplug those and use it. Next to that is the satellite hookup and two USB plugs. On the top corner here is the solar charge controller. Now that's actually controlling the 100 watt solar panel that is on the front angle of this trailer. That's going to keep those batteries charged if you want to camp somewhere other than a campsite. All right, I think we've covered almost everything on the inside. Let's step outside and take a look. Okay, so for a 14-foot trailer, there's a lot to see on the outside. The Tule awning on the top opens up about 8 feet. The way that works, just put your bar into the crank right here, crank it out, fold down the legs, and the legs actually fit right into this socket right here. And you have a great awning covering the rear of your door. To put it back up, just reverse that process. The legs fit right in at the end and crank it back into place. Very simple to use and such a great help if you wanted some shade or some protection from the weather. The clear handle on the back is, makes it easy to get in and out. LED porch light on the top. Now let's talk about the cassette toilet. This trailer has an 11 gallon fresh tank it has a 13 gallon gray tank, which is gonna be the sink water and the shower water. And all of the toilet water goes into this tank right here. It's very simple to use. And all you do is pull this tab out. You slide the entire canister out. The handle extends and you can wheel it to wherever you'd like to dump it. You can dump it at a dump station. You can dump it at any toilet anywhere very easy to manage. If you don't want to find a dump station, your gray water can actually go a lot of places because it probably is just soapy water. It's the black water that you have to figure out what to do with. And so if you just wanted to take this into the restroom and dump it in the toilet like you would dump mop water, it works great. What you do is you swivel this out, tip it up, and there is a handle on the back, so it's very easy to grab. You push this button, and it dumps. Fold it right back. Walk it back to your campsite, and slide it right back into place. It automatically opens up on its own as it wheels back into the compartment. The top opens up, it snaps into place, and you're done. It's so simple. Uh, fits right in that compartment. You'll be the envy of the campground because you don't have to go find the dump station. All right, let's keep moving around the side of the trailer. Now on this side, I love to point out the lights. They have great little bullet clearance lights, 13 inch tires, aluminum wheels. It does come with a spare. And this is the venting for the water heater. This has the six gallon DSI gas water heater. If you filled that 11 gallon fresh tank, you would fill it right here. And around the front, you can see the dual propane tanks. They do come with a cover. It's a nice heavy vinyl cover. And the battery would sit right behind here. All right, black diamond plate is your rock guard on this wrapped front. And I love seeing the angle on here. It just makes towing a breeze. On the front, you can get a glimpse of the 100 watt solar panel, the digital TV antenna that we talked about, the 9200 BTU air conditioner. All right, let's move around to the side. 
cable TV hookup if you happen to be in a campsite that has cable TV hookup right there and the gray tank the 13 gallon gray tank connects right here you can do a, a sewer connector right there pull your gray tank and it will drain there are stabilizer jacks on all four corners of this trailer makes it very stable when you take it off your vehicle and you're walking around inside. Uh, simple hand crank will get it up and down right there. If you wanted to have an additional uh, solar panel, they make portable solar panels. They're like a suitcase and it is wired right here so that all you have to do is just plug it in. When you have hydrant water and you're not pumping out of your tank, you just hook the hose right up here to your fresh water connection. We call it a city water fill. There is a 110 plug right here for you on the outside. This is the venting for your furnace. Remember it has a 16,000 BTU furnace in this unit. The electrical plug to plug in at the campsite with the collar to uh, actually lock it down so it can't come loose. Standard is the outside shower. The handheld shower head and hot and cold knobs and this actually can sit right here refrigerator venting here along with those cool bullet lights on the side okay so we're back around to the rear of this trailer it is the a-liner great escape st i love all of the features they've packed into this small package and if you want to see more walkthroughs please just subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm PJ at Princess Craft RV, and we're here to answer all your questions. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.